In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a smooth camera follow script. This is something that I see a lot of beginners having trouble with. A lot of people either get weird controls or jittery movement and are just confused about the whole situation in general. So hopefully you will find this video useful. Also special thanks to Commander Firestone 38 for his support on Patreon. If you want to support these videos, you can go to patreon.com slash brekkies. All right, let's get started. So I have this scene set up with a simple cube that we can control around the platforms. But the camera, of course, is currently stationary. Let's change this by selecting the camera, going add component, and we want to create a script called camera follow. Let's choose C sharp and hit create an ad. Let's double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. Now first off we can go ahead and delete the two using tags at the top, and we can also delete both our methods. The first thing that we need is a reference to what we want to follow. In our case that's going to be the player. Let's go ahead and create a public transform. Remember we use transform whenever we want to get information about position, rotation and scale. And we can call this variable our target. We'll also need a variable that defines how quickly our camera will snap to the target. Because we'll be smoothing out our camera movement, we need to be able to adjust the smooth amount. So right below this we'll create another public variable. This one is going to be of type float, and let's call it our smooth speed. So the higher this value is, the faster our camera is going to lock on to our target. And so the smaller it is, the more time we are going to spend smoothing. You want to place this somewhere between 0 and 1, I'm just going to default it to 0 0.125. So let's start locking onto a target. We want to do that inside of a method. So let's go void. And this is where I see a lot of people going wrong. Especially people new to Unity. Because the logic here goes, well I want to snap my camera to the target and I don't want to do this only in start because if our target moves, well then we want the camera to move with it. And so the reasoning goes, let's do this every frame. And so people write update here. The problem with this, however, is that our target's position is often also edited in the update method. And so we get a situation where the target and camera is kind of competing to go first. And that results in weird jittery behavior. What we can do instead is actually change this to something called late update. Late update is the exact same thing as update except it's run right after. And so now we know by the time that this function is called, our target has already done all its movement. So let's test this out by first setting transform.position, our camera's current position, equal to our target's position, so target.position. And when we now save this and head into Unity, we can see our two variables appear in the inspector. Let's take our player and drag it into the target slot. Now when we hit play, we should see that our camera snaps directly to the position of our player. So our camera is currently inside of our player. This is not really something we want. We definitely want to offset the position of our camera, but you can see that it does follow the player around and that everything feels very smooth. So let's go and add an offset. Let's create our offset as a variable so that we can easily tweak it in the inspector. We'll create a public vector3 and the reason that I'm creating a vector3 here is that I want to be able to offset our camera on all three axes. I want to be able to pull it back on the z, move it up on the y a little bit and maybe even play with the x. So let's call this variable offset and we don't need to put in any defaults here. Then down here where we set our current position equal to our target position, we can actually just add our offset onto that position. So we simply write plus offset. If you're unfamiliar with vector math, this might seem weird. We're not adding two numbers here, we're adding two vectors. But this actually works out in the simplest way possible. When adding two vectors together, we simply add together each component. So we add the x of our target position with the x of our offset, and the same thing with y and z. So now when we save this and go into Unity and hit play, we have an offset variable, and we can control this at runtime. So I'm just going to take my z value here and bring it back, and you can notice our camera zooming out. I can do the same thing with my y and with my x. I'm going to set my x to 0, y to 2, and z to negative 10. We can then right click on the component, hit copy component, exit play mode, right click again and hit paste component values. And now when we play, we should actually already have a nice camera follow script. But we have just a few things missing. We still need to make our camera smoothly lag behind our player. And we also need our camera to always face the player. Because right now if I increase the Y, well then we lose track of our player. To smooth out our movement, let's take the position of our target plus the offset and store this in another variable. We'll make this of type vector3 and we can call this desired position. And so if we don't want any smoothing, we can simply set transform.position equal to desired position directly. And if you want to smooth, we simply add another step in here. We create another vector3. We call this the smoothed position and set it equal to vector3.lerp. Lerp stands for linear interpolation and is the process of smoothly going from one point, point A, to another, point B. 
So this method first off takes in our current position, which is our starting point. For that we'll write transform.position. It then takes in our desired position, our endpoint. So let's put in our desired position. And finally it takes in a float called t. It's called t here because we often want to lerp over time. But t is actually just any value between 0 and 1. When it's zero, this method is going to give us the first position, which is currently transform.position. When it's one, it's going to give us the second position, which is currently desired position. And if it's anywhere in between, well then it's going to give us a mix of the two. So what we want to do here is actually input our smooth speed. And we can then set our current position equal to our smooth position. So what's happening now is that every frame, we get the position that we want to snap to. We use vector3.lerp to get a bit closer to that position. And how much closer we get depends on our smooth speed. If our smooth speed was 1, well then we would move the entire way on one frame. If it was 0.5, well then we would move half the way each frame. If this is hard to wrap your head around, I totally understand. It definitely was for me at first. I think we should just try it out in Unity and you can see what it looks like. Now depending on the way that you're currently handling movement, this might turn out really smooth or you might get a bit of jiggery motion. I've searched around the forums trying to figure out why this happens. According to Unity documentation, late update should always be called after everything else. I did however find a solution to this. If we go into Visual Studio, we can simply go in and replace late with fixed update. And so now we're actually updating our position in the fixed update physics loop. Don't ask me why this works, but when we now hit play you can see just how smooth that is. If anyone has a good explanation for this, please post it in the comments. Finally we can have our camera always look at our player. This is super simple to do. We simply want to call transform dot look at and the object that we want to look at is our target. This way Unity will do all of the rotational calculation for us. Let's save that, go into Unity, hit play and voila! Our smooth follow script is working. And we can see just how easy it is to update the way that we view our player. There are of course a million ways that you can expand upon this system. If you want you can also pick up a camera solution from the Unity asset store. Some of these allow you to do much more advanced camera stuff like having multiple targets, setting up framing, camera shakes, transitions, all that stuff. I'll have some links in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future one. Also, if you have any questions, you can go to forum.brachis.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in May. And a special thanks to Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, Stone Gamer, CMDR Firestone38, Thomas Vorley, James Callahan, Cyborg Mummy, and Jason Latito. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash